everyone and welcome to today's video where I'll be sharing over a hundred ideas of gifts that you can give people or that you can ask for for yourself this Christmas. And I do have a range of categories from beauty to games to crafty things to clothes to jewelry to books. It's all covered so let's get through them and I'll start with the first category which is makeup. I feel like you can never go wrong with a good lip product whether that's something that you're asking for or if you're gifting for others. I feel like lipsticks, lip glosses, lip balms are always the way to go. So the first item is the Glossier lip balms and I do have the holiday lip balms specifically because I do know that they changed the formula. I do have the old formula and I really like using those. I haven't tried the new formula but apparently it's not as good. So their holiday ones which is the hot chocolate one and the cookie butter one are actually in the old formula. So if you wanted to try those or you wanted to give them to someone else it'd be great because I know that's the formula that everyone knows and loves. And they're fun special holiday flavors as well so that is great. And then going along with that the Glossier lip glosses are one of my favorite lip glosses ever. Of course the original clear one is the go-to but I'm pretty sure they also have the glittery one and the red one. Those ones also look really good as well. The MAC Squirt Plumping Lip Gloss Sticks which are available in a range of different colors but the color isn't super pigmented either so it like gives a light sheen because there's some strange colors there too like blues and lime greens but I think once they're on they actually look quite nice but make sure you only twist the dial a couple times because I've seen people all over TikTok and I'm sure you have too twist it all the way up and break it off because obviously it's a lip gloss stick so it's not meant to be all the way up like a lipstick. And for actual lipsticks, I really wanted to try the Clinique Black Honey lipstick. It's like a plum color and it's quite sheer as well, but it's also buildable. I think this would be like the perfect shade and it's supposed to be like universal, so it's good for all skin tones. But if you're not a plum person, there is also a pink version called Pink Honey. And if you're on a higher budget, a more bougier lip product, which I feel like so many people have been wanting recently, are the Dior lip oils, which they do have a high price, but I think you're just paying for the name. I don't know if it's the best lip oil out there. It looks cute though. I know the Rare Beauty blushes have been so popular and there's so many shades as well. I really do like a nice pink color or a little coral color. And I've heard they're also really pigmented, so they last a long time because you only need like the smallest dot and it blends out a long way. For a mascara, one of my favorite mascaras is the Glossier Lash Slick Mascara. So good. I just love the bristles on the wand. I like a good plasticky, stiff bristle. I don't like the ones that are like an actual brush like a stiff bristle and that's got one and I really enjoyed that one so that's one of my favorites. The Fenty Beauty highlighters again one of my favorites. I don't think they make the color that I have anymore because I've been searching everywhere but the formulas are great so I'm willing to try any of the Fenty Beauty highlighters really. Now getting into skincare a good thing to start off your skincare with is an ice roller. I don't have one but I would like one. I feel like it would be like so relaxing, good to deep puff in the morning. I just think it would be great. And along with that, a gua sha for your lymphatic drainage. You can't go wrong with a good face mask, sheet masks, all the ones in the pot, all good. A good skincare headband to hold back the hair while you're doing the skincare. Always a good thing. I feel like you can never have enough of them. And if you are someone that removes their makeup using like a micellar water, then reusable cotton rounds would be like a great thing to get because then you can just wash them and reuse them. So you constantly have your cotton pads to remove your makeup. Next for hair care, a good thing to have is a silk pillowcase. I do have one there, my green one, love it. I don't really know too much of the benefits but apparently it's supposed to reduce the frizz. And then along with that some silk scrunchies as well, again. Better for your hair, I think when you have your hair in normal hair ties, it can like lead to breakage. Not too sure, but a silk scrunchie. I mean, it sounds fancy. A good hair oil. I know this brand. I don't know if it's, it's a way. Is that how you pronounce it? Not too sure. That is quite expensive as well. But there are also like some good hair oils with more affordable brands like L'Oreal. I have that one, love it. Another thing that you can never have enough of, that was loud. You can never have enough hair clips. Both the ones that you can use when you do your makeup, like these, or claw clips, or I've been seeing people getting into banana clips recently, which I haven't tried, but they look super cool. I'd be interested to see how well it can hold hair. I am not too sure. It's like, it's kind of like a comb and it just closes up. 
at the back. Don't really know how it works. Would love to try it out. Some perfumes, and I feel like, again, perfumes can range in price. If you are looking for a more high-end perfume, I've bought the Black Opium perfume quite a few times as gifts for people, and everyone seems to love it. Or also recently, Sol de Janeiro perfumes as well are quite popular. I actually haven't found one of theirs that I've liked the smell of. Don't know if I just haven't smelled enough of them, but everyone seems to love them. So I guess if you're buying a gift, that's a great one. I think they're like in the middle for price range. But otherwise, I found this website. It's called Dossier. I don't know. Look, I'm pronouncing it like Glossier, but I don't even know if it is Dossier. Doss Look, no clue. But they do dupes of the high-end perfumes. So it says what the scent is inspired by and you can get it for a much cheaper price. So they have like brands like YSL, Chanel, uh, Dolce & Gabbana, Tom Ford. Like there's a whole range of perfumes that they do dupes of and I think this is a great thing to ask for. Especially if you've been to a shop to smell the perfumes and you really like it and you want to get it but you don't want to spend that much money. This is a lot cheaper and that way you can actually try it out long term. See if you like it before you spend the big bucks. It's always good to get some nail polish. So I've been really loving these like red wine colored nail polishes. I think they look great. Or also I know this color was kind of trending earlier in the year on TikTok and everyone was calling it blueberry milk, but it's really just light blue. But I think that's also a really pretty color as well. The last thing in the beauty category is like a laser machine, an IPL machine or an epilator. I feel like that'd be great. They can be very pricey though. Next, we're moving on to clothing and shoes. We'll start with the shoes. I've been really wanting these ballet flats, but they do have a little heel. So are they called flats still? I don't know. But this brand is the Repetto, I think that's how you say it. They're called the Camille Ballerinas and they're so expensive, like $600. So that's like real high budget there. But if you're looking for a dupe, Steve Madden do have similar shoes which are called the Cherish Pump and they are over like $100. I think they're around like $160, but it's not like the Repetto shoes. Like that's out of the park, not in my budget at all. But the Steve Madden ones, they look quite nice. I believe they're also available on Amazon. And the mini Uggs, I feel like they're so cute. And I've been seeing people getting the platform ones. I don't know if I need the extra height, but they look super cute. Also, everyone's been loving the Adidas Sambas recently, and I've been looking for a good pair of joggers. I do have my old Nike Air Force ones, but they are crusty as, so I am in need of some new joggers. And then the last pair of shoes we have is Crocs, and I love a good Croc moment. They're so good to just throw on. I don't leave the house in Crocs, but I mean, people do, and that's fine. I don't have real Crocs, though. I do have, like, these $2 ones that we got at Woolworths, and they're just as good. So, like, even the knockoff Crocs. They all do the job, you know? But moving on to clothes, I really love these patchwork jackets. They're like quilted jackets. Again, not winter right now for me, but I just think they're so cute. And because there's like different colors on each of the segments of the quilt, you can like match the rest of your outfit based on a specific square of the jacket. I think it's great. Maybe they look a little granny-ish, but I like the granny vibe sometimes. <laughs> Next a good one if you are in the Southern Hemisphere and you will be having summer is some reversible swimwear. So you can get bikinis that are double-sided, which is amazing because then it's like you're getting two bikinis in one because you flip them over and it looks like you have a new one. I love it. I think that's the smartest idea I've ever heard ever because bikinis are always expensive anyway if you get a double-sided one, you're getting two. And I really like these ones from VDM The Label, which I believe is an Australian brand. And coloured tights, like stockings that you wear under skirts and stuff. I feel like I never see coloured ones out at the shops, but they're so fun. I see them all over Pinterest, like a nice pop of colour. I really want red ones. Like, hello, coloured tights. And some nice pyjama sets. And there's a wide variety of pyjamas out there. You can go high-end with something like Peter Alexander, get the nice little silk sets. But there's also lots of other places out there that you can get cheap pyjama sets that actually look cute. Like, even Target and Kmart, I feel like, have actual cute pyjamas these days. So really anywhere, but like a matching set. It's just so much fun. And I feel like when you're younger, you're always dreading the present of socks and undies because that can be boring, right? But you can actually get 
cute socks and cute undies now. I really like these ones from Lounge, the day of the week undies, which is so cute. They've got little flowers on them, love it. Or you can also get these packs of three in a little gift box of some of their like little floral ones. Very cute, love it. And then for socks, cute little ruffle socks or lace socks. So good to spice up an outfit. And then the last thing I have which is more of an accessory, is sunglasses. I've been eyeing this set off Amazon. It's like $16 or something crazy for four sunglasses. And the colors are cute, love them. Next we have jewelry. And I've been looking at the En Route jewelry website for so long. Everything is so nice, but I really love this carnelian heart necklace. I think it's so pretty and I want it. I've seen on TikTok and on Pinterest something really trendy recently, the Italian charm bracelets, which I believe you can get on Etsy. So they're like little rectangles and they link together to make the bracelet. Super cute. I do believe though that some people complain that it pinches their arm hair, which I mean, yeah, that would actually not be great. But I think it looks cute. So I mean, you know, beauty is pain and all. And then the last thing in the jewelry category that I have here is a nice travel jewelry box, which I feel is great because you don't want to chuck your necklaces in and your earrings and your rings in a bag and they all get tangled. So having a good case that you can take with you on holidays or even just to organize your jewelry in general is great. Next, we're going into like home decor and little homey bits. First, I have this lamp. I don't have a lamp, but do I need a lamp? I don't know, but I want this lamp. It's like little flowers, they're so cute. I literally love it. That is a little expensive though. I feel like some home decor pieces can be expensive. This, I want so badly. It does come in a few different colors. I think this brand is called G&G &G Brothers. I just have a screenshot, but I think it was from David Jones. But I'm pretty sure they had this purple pink color, then there was like this orangey yellow color. There was a few different ones, and I think they're so cute. But if you don't like that kind of lamp, I know that lots of people have been getting those like mushroom lamps. I know they did have them at Kmart. I don't know where else they had them, but they're also super cute. Some posters. You can get some posters printed off, either for yourself or for your friends, depending on their interests. You can get ones related to their favorite movies, TV shows, singers, books. It could have book quotes. How fun. Candles. I feel like you can never go wrong with a candle. If you know the person you're buying for, then hopefully you would know the scents they like, like if they're more floral or a sweet scent type person. Or if you're asking for yourself, obviously you will know. So you can say, the general idea or like rose scents or vanilla scents but as for brands I really like the glass house candles or bath and body works I feel like those candles can be hit or miss sometimes like their sweet scents can be overly sweet but their citrus ones the rose ones and vanilla I really like and usually you can get quite good deals especially around like Black Friday like buy three get three free yes some nice tea or coffee depending on the person if you know what they prefer to drink then you can get them a nice special brand if they have a favorite flavor at tea too or if they have a favorite coffee brand or like those pods for the coffee machines i'm not a coffee drinker so i really don't know anything about good coffee brands but you know coffee next a good thing to get it's like a good pillow mist that was me spraying the spray. You can get like lavender ones, you spray them on your pillows so when you go to bed it like, it's like aromatherapy but in your pillows. It's, it's great. Going along with pillows and bedding, you can get new doona covers or duvets. I don't know what people say elsewhere in the world but I call this a doona, a duvet. I don't know but cute little covers. I've been eyeing this one off Amazon. It's got cute strawberries on it, I love it. And then next isn't really a decor thing, more for like use in the home and outside, a drink bottle. I know everyone's been loving the Frank Green drink bottles. I, however, don't see the hype. I do like the look of this Awala drink bottle, I think it's called, and you can get different colors, which is great. So you pop the lid off and there's an option to drink from the straw, there's a little opening, or you can like use it as a normal drink bottle. And I think this is so much better because it's a pop lid. And it's not like the Frank Green drink bottles where there's like the little tad that you lift up but you still actually have to touch the straw bit with your hands to drink the drink. Which if you're out and about like at school or something, you don't want to be touching where your mouth's going to go because how often are you washing your hands? 
Maybe you should get some hand sanitizer. Put that on the list as well. But this drink bottle, I think looks great. Next, we're going into bags. And my favorite bag, the Uniqlo bag. And it's somewhat like the Bagu Crescent bag. And it fits so much. The other day I went to the city and I was like going to like a picnic thing. So I put a, like a good sized sarong that I was gonna sit on as a picnic rug in the bag, as well as my drink bottle, as well as my wallet and my phone. And it all fit. Absolutely love it. You can get a whole range of colors as well. A long champ tote bag. Again, this is a high price range, but they look so cute. I like this one. You can get it on Amazon actually. And I think this is like one of my favorites that I've seen. But this style is cheaper on Amazon, but I don't believe they actually have it on their website. I don't know what that means though. Does that mean it's a fake? I don't know, but it's cute. But the real ones as well, quite expensive, but they're cute also. So it depends how much you want to spend. But I feel like they'd be great to take to work. If you have a laptop, it would fit in there easily. I feel like it's like a good, decent sized bag that looks pretty sturdy as well. A good quality leather bag that will last you a long time, I think is a great investment and a great gift to get as well. Again, it can be quite pricey depending on the size of the bag or where it's from. But there are like so many out there. I feel like if you go to like farmers markets, there's usually someone that does leather stuff like belts or bags and you can get a lot of colors i feel like there's generally like black brown or like a nice red leather bag how cute a good tote bag i know that the dimmix in the city has ones with zippers and i was like i've never seen a tote bag with a zipper before this is amazing i need one immediately from bagu as i was talking about earlier which has the bag that's similar to the uniqlo bag the reusable bags that they have seem great as well like they fold up really small into little squares so they're quite compact and you can chuck them in your other bag and it's good because these days you need to have your own bags because no one has bags anymore and then the last thing i have is these astala carry-all bags which i think would be great as a makeup bag or you could use it as like a pencil case but they like so cute so many cute patterns love it next going into technology which again can be pricey but if you're in the market for something like this these are some go-to things that I think so many people would actually use and love. Sony headphones. I myself bought a pair of the XM4s and I love them so much. They're noise cancelling and they're actually so comfortable as well. Like you don't want to pay that much for headphones if they're not comfortable, but these are actually really comfortable. I've heard people had returned their like Apple AirPod Maxes to get these because those were really uncomfortable. But I like these ones, they come with a case as well. It's literally great, love it. Battery life, amazing. Sound, so good. A portable charger, which is so good at school. If you have like an older phone, then your battery kind of like drains really quickly. So they're also great for traveling as well. We'll definitely be taking mine when I go to Japan because we'll be taking lots of photos. A good iPad case or a computer case, you can get cute patterns as well. And great to protect your technology because if you're paying so much for them, it's good to actually have something where you know it's gonna be safe. And if you are an iPad user or you know someone that is, an Apple Pencil is so good if you use your iPad for school and to take notes or if you use it to draw, I use it to draw, it's so much fun. And the next tech piece is also a hair tool, the Dyson Airwrap. I love my Dyson Airwrap. And it takes some getting used to, but once you get the hang of it, it's actually really good. They are really expensive, but you will get a lot of use out of it too. If you have a favorite artist or band, you could ask for records or CDs. That is if you have a record player or a CD player. You don't want to have them and then not actually have anywhere to play them. Next I have some like crafty bits or like notebooks and pens and stuff. Always at the end of the year you need a planner for the year coming up. So a 2024 planner or a bullet journal if they're more crafty and do like their own planners. I've been doing bullet journaling for like four or five years now but I think I'm actually wanting a normal planner this year because I've found that this year in uni I've been just so busy and I haven't been able to make like pretty bullet journal spreads as I used to so I feel like it's a waste on me and I just want normal planner just for like the next couple of years until I have more time again. Depending on the person they might want to be more crafty or just get a pre-planned planner. I've been seeing these coloring in books, the Bobby Goods coloring in books all over TikTok and seeing people color them in using the markers and it's so cute. I love all the pictures. So those coloring in books 
seem like such a fun activity as well. And of course, to go along with it, the markers that everyone's using are all like alcohol based markers. So these ones from Ohuhu are like kind of middle of the range in price. You can get some really expensive ones like the Copic ones, but they are a lot. It's a lot. Okay, so these ones are much better, especially if you're only using them for colouring in and you're not like an actual artist that needs the Copic markers because that will cost you an arm and a leg, seriously. If you're a painter, the Winsor & Newton watercolour paints are the best paints that I've ever used. I love a good watercolour moment, it's one of my favourite paints to work with and this paint palette, I love it so much, so pigmented. The colours in there as well, so good. And of course you can like mix the colours to make whatever you want, but there is such a wide variety as well that you probably won't need to mix them. Again, can be a little bit pricey, but it's well worth it in my eyes. If you're looking for a good pen to use every day, I use the Muji gel pens and I use the 0.38 size, which is the smallest size you can get. It's quite thin, but it looks really good. I love a thin pen. And you can get a lot of colours of them as well. I do use black because I just use it as an oil pen. But you can get, like, pink, purple, red, any colour, right? And it's great. If you are a book reader that annotates, I feel like this type of pen, because it is so thin, would be great to write your notes in the books. And to go along with that, the mild liner highlighters, which I haven't tried. I did have these dupes that I got from like Daiso, but I, I haven't tried the mild liner ones and I really want to. You can get a lot of different colors for them as well. And I think they're supposed to be good for annotating because they don't bleed through the page. We'll go into the book section now because I feel like a lot of you guys will be waiting for the book gifts because I do mainly talk about books on my channel. If you're buying books to someone that doesn't read a lot or if you want to get into reading but you don't know where to start, here are some good ones that are quite popular that I really enjoy that I think you should get as well. Of course, my favourite fantasy book of all time, Six of Crows. I guess you could also say it's my favourite book of all time. I love this book so, so much. It can be a little confusing if it is your first fantasy book, but it does have a trilogy that comes before the events of Six of Crows, which can be easier to understand. So if you really want to read Six of Crows, like if you're interested in the storyline, recommend reading the Shadow and Bone trilogy or you could just watch the Shadow and Bone show on Netflix but then you have to read Six of Crows. Literally so good. If you're in the mood for more of a romance book you can't go wrong with Emily Henry. She writes like so well. Her romance books also feel like kind of literary fiction vibes so it's great bridge into both of those genres but I haven't read an Emily Henry book that I did not enjoy, that I did not love, that I did not rate like five stars. So I feel like you can't go wrong. Another person you can't go wrong with, Ali Hazelwood. She writes books where the main characters are like in a STEM setting. So we've had um, biologists, physicists, um, people in NASA, and it's great. I'm not a science person myself. But the books are so interesting. Obviously it's a romance so it's not solely on science but it's good to see like little facts here and there. I feel so smart when I'm reading them even though I don't understand half the things she's talking about. And if you're in the mood for a mystery I feel like a good place to start in like the YA category is like Karen McManus's books. One of Us is Lying. Great one. Two Can Keep a Secret. Probably one of my favorites from her. Absolutely love it, but I think she's got like six, seven books out now. She's got a lot, so you can take your pick with whichever one you think sounds the best. And if you're not one for reading fiction books, you can always get a coffee table book. Because I feel like books are great decoration as well. So a good coffee table book, you can get ones on travel. Or there's also this one that I've had my eye on if you're a Swifty. It's called Taylor Swift and the clothes she wears. Like, how fun does that sound? So it's li literally just going through all her outfits. And I'd love to see it. And if you're buying a gift for a reader or if you are a reader and people don't know what books to get you, you can ask for things that aren't books but are book related like a fancy bookmark, you can get lots of cute ones from Etsy or a book embosser or a book stamp which you can like press into your pages or stamp onto your pages to make it say your name. So like this book belongs to blah 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 or from the library of blah 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 and I'm like this is amazing how cute is that bookish merch jumpers mugs bookmarks even 
literally so many things out there again Etsy is the place to be for all these things I feel like there's a lot of fantasy merch like there's a lot of Akatar merch mugs jumpers fourth wing jumpers really want one how cute are they or like six of crows themed jumpers this one I've had my eye on for so long so cute I was surprised to see this one for Chestnut Springs, which is a romance series, which I feel like I don't generally see jumpers in the romance book merch genre. I feel like fantasy is easier to find for the merch pieces, but there are some stuff out there if you aren't a fantasy reader. A book sleeve, again, you can get on Etsy. Um, they're like little quilted bags that you can put your books in so they don't get damaged in like your backpack. And that's a big thing because you don't want a folded cover or a teared page or something like that. So this will protect your book and you can get them to look cute as well. I guess you could put it in the tech category, but I'm putting in the book category a Kindle. Again, it depends on your budget, but I feel like they're so good. I have a Kindle, love my Kindle. So easy to travel with as well, and they're so light to hold. Especially if you're a reader of really thick books, I feel like you can get really sore wrists. So actually holding a Kindle and reading a thick book in that format is so much easier and I feel like you can speed through them quicker as well. And if you already have a Kindle, you can get the tools for the ultimate Kindle setup. Like this Kindle holder that you can get which clips onto like the side of your bed or your bedside table and it has an arm that it can twist over and it holds your Kindle above you, right? And then once you have that, you also have to get a page turner. So it's like a little button that you press to turn the page of your Kindle. So that way you can literally like curl up in bed, have the Kindle above you and turn the page like all curled up. You don't have to get out to touch the screen. I think that would be amazing. I mean, it's lazy, but it's so good. I want it so bad, I'd probably never leave my bed. The last thing I have in the book category is the book carts that everyone has, like to make a little TBR car or just to display some books. You can get some good ones at Ikea and they do have a range of colours as well. Going into active wear, I mean, I would like to get into exercise more, so I feel like these things would be great. Some pants. You can get exercise leggings, like the normal leggings or yoga pants with a little bit of flare. So cute. Again, you can get so many colours. Active wear sets as well. Cute colours, cute patterns. I like the ones from the brands Gymshark and Stax, but there are a whole range of brands out there. A nice yoga mat. Again, you can get a whole range of colours. You can get cheap ones as well from Kmart, or if you want something a little more sturdier, you can get like some good ones at like Rebel or probably on Amazon as well. But if you are a runner, I would love to be a runner, but I don't think my knees are capable of running. Like they hurt all the time. But um, these shoes, I think they're called Hoka or Hoka. I don't really know. Apparently they're like really good running shoes. Also, I've heard that they're a shoe that is popular among nurses because they're supposed to be really comfortable when you're standing a long time. So. That seems like a good shoe to exercise in. And if you're not into yoga but more into Pilates and you go to like reformer classes, you could get some Pilates socks because I believe you have to wear special socks so you don't slip over and die. Um, Pilates socks, I think, have like grips in them, like the socks that you would wear to like trampoline parks and stuff like that. A thing I will definitely be asking for this Christmas is a baseball hat. I constantly steal my mum's baseball hat because when we went to America and we went to the baseball, my parents both bought hats and I thought, I don't need a hat because I don't go outside that often. But now I've been going on my walks and I constantly steal my mum's hat, so I want my own baseball hat. And the last thing I have in the active wear category isn't something you can wear, it is a beach towel. I feel like a beach towel is perfect, especially if you're in the Southern Hemisphere and you do plan on going to the beach in the summer after Christmas. It's good to have a new towel. When I was younger, I used to get like a new beach towel most years and it was so great because that whole summer you get to use a new beach towel and it's so fun. Next, we have some games. I recently got Incoherent for my birthday and it's so fun. So I feel like that is a good one to play. Also, I've been seeing on TikTok this game called Canoodle where you like put these little shapes into this container and you shake it up and you have to try and like fill the square with the shapes. It sounds difficult but fun at the same time. And then last in the games category, some puzzles. 
I love a good puzzle. You can get double-sided ones these days, which I feel like is great. Again, with the double-sided bikini, when you have a double-sided bikini, it's like you get two bikinis. A double-sided puzzle is like two puzzles because you can do it twice and it's not the same picture, obviously. Also, you can get these cute acrylic puzzles from Amazon. This one has got Gigi on it from Kiki's Delivery Service and I think it's so cute. And when it's done, it looks like a little stained glass window because it's acrylic. How cute is that? And the last category I have here are subscriptions, which I feel like is a good gift to give someone if you don't know what to get them at all. You can buy like a few months or if you're in a big budget, you can buy a full year of a subscription. And here are some ideas of subscriptions that you can buy. If you are a reader, Kindle Unlimited so good and there are so many deals throughout the year where you can buy three months of the kindle subscription and get three months for free so it's like you have six months for the price of three months and i think that's a lot more affordable as well and a great gift to give or normal streaming services like netflix disney paramount stan any of those i think it'd be good to receive a few months of that so you don't have to pay for it and music streaming services like Spotify or Apple Music, I'm pretty sure Amazon also has like a music subscription service now. Another subscription that you can get, like the OG subscriptions, magazine subscriptions. How fun would it be to get a little copy of Vogue every month? Or Architectural Digest or The New Yorker. Depends on the person or what their interests are. I feel like you can generally find a magazine and I feel like it'd be so fun. But that is everything. That took forever. I think I've been filming for over an hour, but those are the 100 plus things that you could ask for or that you could gift this Christmas. Let me know in the comments if you have any other ideas to give people or if you found anything in this video that you would like to ask for. And if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below because I do post new videos every single Saturday. So you do not want to miss it. And I'm going to Japan super soon. It's like two weeks away at this point. So I will be having some Japan vlogs coming up soon, but I will see you next week. Thank you again for watching. Goodbye.